Alright guys, welcome to this new tutorial on Django and in this tutorial we are going to see how to work with the media files. Now in the previous tutorial you have seen that how Django admin page was used to send data to the tables in the database. So now one more thing we need to do over here is that we have to configure those with the settings.py file. If you don't do so, and if you try to display your data on the browser without configuring it with settings.py, it is going to create problems for you. So at the end of settings.py, what we are going to do is that we are going to create media URL and it is going to equal to media, which is going to be a folder. And then you have to specify media underscore root and it is going to equal to os dot path dot join the first argument as usual is going to be the base directory and the second argument is going to be the name of the folder that is media in our case so after adding this media url as media and this media root as os.path.join base directory and media which is the name of the file we have to add what you are going to do is that you are going to go to the urls.py of the project and in here what you are going to do is that you are going to add the static path so you are going to write in url patterns equal to url patterns plus static and you are going to write in settings dot media underscore url you are going to write in document underscore root which is going to equal to settings dot media underscore root all right so i guess that's it now as you can see that we have got certain errors we have got red line under the settings and we have got a red line under the static so we need to have our includes for this so we're going to write in from django dot config import settings and this is going to solve the settings problem for us and the second import we are going to do is that we are going to write in from django dot configure dot urls dot static import static for us and that is going to solve the second problems for us so this url patterns over here is going to be a combination of this as well as this static url we have just added and this basically refers to the settings dot media url which is media in our case and then the document root is going to equal to settings dot media root which is right over here which is this os.path.chine based directory and media all right so this is basically going to do our job so this is how the send data can be monitored so in the next tutorial what we will do is that we will see how this very same data will be used to be get shown on the browser display so i guess that's it with this tutorial thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial now welcome you to another tutorial on this course on Django and this so far is going to be the most interesting tutorial of this section we are covering because in this tutorial what we are going to do is that we are going to display the data which we have entered in our tables onto your browser window. So in this views.py of the application what we are going to do is that we are going to just remove all the data which we have entered manually over here because now the data is going to be fetched from the database. So what this dests is now going to equal is it is going to equal to destination dot objects dot all. Now by destination we mean the model, by objects we mean the objects mean a single destination, by all we means all the destination objects which have been added using the Django admin panel. If you just visit your Django admin panel you can see that we have got three destination objects. So by all we means all the three objects over here. So the return request is going to be the very same. So let's just run our server. 
manage.py run server click enter and our server will be running in a short while all right so our server is now running without any kind of errors so if you just go on to the travel website over here refresh this page and if you just move on down to the destinations you can see that we have got the destinations which were basically a part of our database as you can see over here we have Naran, Switzerland and Turkey which are now a part of this browser window in our dest popular destinations over here you can see that we have got the special offer you can see that we have got the special offer here as well we have got the prizes we have set in our database as you can see over here and we have got everything but the only thing that is missing over here are the images so if you go into the compiler here you can see that you have got this folder named as pic and if you just expand it you can see that you've got all the three images that are basically a part of the database now which you have sent using the Django admin panel. So naran.jpg, switzerland.jpg and turkey.jpg are a part of a folder here that is named as pic. Now what the question is that why are these images not showing right here on our browser window? Now the answer to this lies in the index.html so you are going to move into the templates you are going to open index.html now since we are now not dealing with this base URL we have created right at the top over here which you can see because now we are dealing with a global URL so in the, the destinations where we have got our destinations we are going to change the base URL to a global URL. So let's just go to the destination. These are the testimonials. These are the destinations. And this is the destination folder. And in here, where we have got the URL, which is right here, which is the image SRC, we are going to just remove it from here and it is going to be in this double curly brackets but it is going to be test.img.url so this is now basically a global url image because now we are not dealing with the base url we are dealing with a global url and in place of base url we have to write in test.image.url that refer to a global url over here but now the question is that is this going to do our job the answer is no because if you just refresh your browser window even now you don't see any kind of image now what is the reason behind this is that when you created the changes in the settings.py as you can see over here you have created the folder to be the media folder and you have joined the base directory with this media folder but if you have a look at over here you have got the images in this folder that is named as pics so the compiler does not know that if this folder even exists or not now why is this media folder not created and why do we have the images in this pics folder is because we have made these changes later and we have added the data before that using the django admin panel because in that tutorial I was just teaching you how to send data to the database so now what we are going to do is that we are going to send new data to the database but first we are going to delete the three entries over here so we are going to go to the Django admin panel we are going to go to the destinations alright so what we are going to do is that let's just leave it as it is and we are going to add more destinations so let's say we are going to add Kahan this time we have to choose the file and we let's say choose the very same file which was this over here and let's say it is going to be do visit it let's set the price to 1000 let's say the offer is yes and let's say the destination number is 2000 
not 2000 it seems to be a lot more let's just make it equal to 250 let's just click on save and add another all right give it one more name let's say the new name is going to be let's name it as california choose image and uh, let's say i'll choose the image for the switzerland over here and do is it this as well because i don't got anything in mind as well so let's just set the price to 1500 let's say and let's say i don't want to give any kind of offer on this and let's say the destination number is 150 let's just click on save and add another and let's just add our final destination to be let's say turkey again Choose the file and this time the image is going to be the very same as the destination. So also is it it? It's going to be the message. Let's say the price is the highest for this. Let's say I want to give an offer as well. And let's just set it to 120. Let's just click on add. And now these uh, 456 has been added successfully so if you now go to this travelo refresh this you can see that you have got six images now over here you have got the first three images over here and then you have got these three images over here as well because now this destination objects have been refreshed and now they are basically referring to this media folder which will be created right over here as you can see that we have got this media folder now since the media folder contain this pics folder and in that pics folder we have got the three destinations so that is the reason we have got an image for the previous three destinations one two three as well as you can see because these three images are also registered with the same name that were Naran.jpg, then we have got Switzerland.jpg, and then we have got Turkey.jpg. So these images since are now part of the media folder. So that's why these three images are visible over here as well. And we have got Naran, Switzerland, Turkey. Then we have got California, Turkey, and Kalan again. We've got Turkey two times because we have added it two times. So basically, this is how data from the database can be shown on to the browser window and the way images are going to be shown on the browser window from the database is a very tricky thing so whenever you are doing it first do the things that have to be done with the settings.py file then you have got to add the destinations using the django admin panel and that will do your job successfully because you have to register the images into this media folder which was created when we imported when we added the new destinations so that's how it's all done so i guess that's it with this tutorial thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next tutorial